Hello, boys and girls. So we're going to be doing op art. Now, this is a project that's been done by a bunch of our teachers all over the place, and it's really cool. Op art is an optical illusion. We're going to make an illusion that our hand is going to be sticking out of this paper, coming right out. Now, for this project, the great thing about it is you only need paper and a pencil. That's it. And this is the first part of two videos. I want you to see the second one to see how we're going to do this in color. But for right now, we're going to practice with a pencil. So here's how you start. You're going to take your hand, and you're going to put it right on this paper. Now, it doesn't matter how your hand is. You can have your fingers way apart, a little bit closer. But you want to put your hand on here, and you're just going to trace it. Here we go. And you want to get some pretty cool bumps. So you try to touch your finger. I don't want this to look like a mitten. I don't want you to go around your hand. I want you to actually touch your fingers. Make sure you get all these cool little bumps all over the place. And there we go. Nice and bumpy. Please don't erase and try to fix it. This is exactly what we want it to look like. Now, this does not look like it's sticking out. It just looks like a hand on a piece of paper. Here is where the optical illusion starts. You're going to take your pencil and you're going to try to draw a straight line across your paper. Now, if you really want to use a ruler, you can. I think that just you wait, takes way too much time. So I'm just going to do my best to draw a straight line across here. And you see that hand? Whenever you run into any part of your hand, you're going to make a curve over it. Not a big curve, but a curve. Now, let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to draw a straight line, nice and dark. When I get to the hand, I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to make a curve and come back down, see a small curve, and then I'm going to keep my straight line going to the other side. That's one. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Try to keep your pencil lines pretty close together. And yeah, you want to make them dark. Now, some of you are going to mess up because you're going to make that curve way too big. Again, you just want a little curve, a small little curve, not a big giant rainbow curve, just a little one. And you want these lines to be as close as possible. Now, so far, this seems pretty easy. So I'm going to go a little bit faster. I don't want you to go fast, but, you know, Mr. Lagarza has done this a bunch of times. I can go a little bit faster and still not make too many mistakes. Now, it's going to get a little harder and it's going to get a little more interesting when I start getting to the fingers. And you can already see right now I'm getting a fairly good illusion of this part of the arm already beginning to stick up and stick out. Because everything else, because the background looks flat, any kind of a curve is going to look like it's popping off the page. All right, now we're getting to this point where I'm doing my fingers. Now right here, straight line, and you're going to see that this curve is going to go here, and then I'm going to run out of finger. So I'm going to go straight, and when I get back into the hand, curve, and then out I go. Over here, I'm going to have a big gap. So straight, there's my curve, straight. There's my curve and straight. Remember, if you're not inside the hand, it's going to be a straight line. So straight, curve. Now, I'm sure that when you look at me doing this, you're thinking, well, that looks easy. Well, yeah, I mean, it's easy to understand what to do. But this is one of those projects where just because it looks easy doesn't mean it is easy. It's one of those projects that's easy to understand what you're supposed to do, but it's hard to actually do it. So some of you are going to say, why is this coming out wrong? Well, it just takes practice. If you make a mistake, you can always turn it over and try it again on the other side. Now, I don't want you to watch me do this whole thing. So I'm going to skip ahead and show you this is what it looks like when it is done. So I have made lines coming from the bottom all the way up to the top. Now, you can see that already looks pretty 3D. But there's one more thing that we can do to make it look even more 3D. We can actually try to draw a shadow. Now, we're going to make a little value scale. You know what a value scale, this is what it looks like. See how it's dark over here? And I'm going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And that's basically a value scale right there, where I go from something very dark to something very light. Now, you can see the outline with the pencil that I made around here. I can still see that outside edge from my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade it. I'm going to color it in slightly with my pencil. Not real hard, but look what I'm going to do. I'm going to color 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 and as i come inside i'm going to get lighter until it goes away just a little bit i'm just going to let it come in here and start disappearing so just color it a little bit and then as it comes inside let it disappear it shouldn't go very deep and it certainly should not be very dark this is just a little bitty shadow to make it look a little rounder that's all in real life if i put my hand down here i would see a shadow all around my hands so that's all i'm really trying to do it's not supposed to be dark it's supposed to be very, very light and 
just kind of go away all on its own. And that's going to help this thing to look really, really round. And it doesn't even take that long to do. Now, I'm doing it fast, but for you, it's going to take a little longer. But still, even then, it's not going to take too long. And again, it's just a little bitty job of coloring in around that outline, and that's going to really make this thing pop out. Don't do it too hard. Just nice and light. Let this color come in and just go away. And that is it. It's done. And now that thing should really look like it's popping out. Now, like I said, if you mess up, try it again. You can do this as many times as you want to. It's a real good trick to see how close you can get these things and how straight you can get them. They're not all going to be perfect, but these are going to be good enough for you to make a nice optical illusion. So now you know how to do it. Go ahead and get your pencil, get your paper, and let's see what you can do.